Hey there, you're about to watch a quick clip from Marketing O'Clock, your friendly neighborhood digital marketing news podcast with new episodes every Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us here on YouTube or look for Marketing O'Clock wherever you listen to your podcast. Okay, getting into the paid universe this week, we have a PMAX update that is incredibly nuanced. I'm going to throw it to Greg to give some background here. So when you have a feed, so Performance Max is very different if you have a feed and if you don't have a feed. If you don't have a feed, it'll go out there and it's almost um, kind of like catered to discovery and, and YouTube a little bit more. But when you have a feed, it brings in all those shopping elements. Um, and with smart shopping, you could have that feed go through and just use the product data, just the feed, no other kind of assets around it or asset group type things. So with Performance Max, the minute that you jump into your asset group and you start putting a headline in, a description in, an image in, you have to, and you're forced to fill everything out. You cannot just put in a headline and then keep that feed in there. You have to fill everything out or you just cannot move forward with the campaign. <clears throat> the workaround is because Google had to migrate all these smart shopping campaigns over that didn't have any of this stuff, if you set up your campaign for Performance Max, you don't put a single headline in. You don't use a description. You don't use any images. You use nothing. Just that feed, you can move forward with that campaign. And then you can go through and like sort down the product groups and say, oh, I just want you know sneakers to come through there. So there's that workaround where as long as you don't do any inputs into the asset group other than bring a feed in, you can make your performance max campaigns without having to do this, in my opinion, very arduous process of injecting all this extra content. And then it's going to auto-generate those things for you based on your feed. Correct. And okay. it's going to be all feed-based. So it's going to be like smart shopping. It's going to be like like the, like what you would have thought with smart shopping. Because every work, every um, control lever that we have in Pmax is like a hack because that's our life. Okay. So Kirk Williams, PPC Kirk, ever heard of him? He tweeted, he said, one of our team members just tried making a new PMAX asset group and it won't let her save without assets. Anyone else see that? Is Google removing the loophole that Greg just talked about? Minham Ani replied and said, it won't let you when creating a new campaign. Save the asset group and launch the campaign. Pause that asset group and then create a new one. Oh, wow. This is insane. Mike Ryan um, responded again from his at Mike Ryan Retail Twitter account, and he said, the loophole to the loophole. It's funny because just on Monday, I was debating with a colleague if asset less PMAX will go away. I said no. It's just very, everything is a hack. It's so stupid. And then Dario Zanoni joined the conversation from his at Dario Zanoni Twitter account. He noticed that, this verbiage is still on the Google ad support documents. Um, so he says, Google has now added to the help documentation a paragraph that states, it's okay to do PMAX without assets for shopping. Maybe this option is really here to stay. So I guess the loophole is still here for now, but it's really difficult to do. Thanks again for watching Marketing O'Clock. We'd love you forever. If you'd like this video, subscribe to our channel and share it with a friend. And don't forget, you can also catch our Famous Friday news show on your favorite podcast player every week.